I'm Gary Broad with the latest from Denver 7. A reminder to take care in the mountains while the snow may be gradually melting. Avalanches can still happen. The Clear Creek Sheriff's Office says Sunday around 9 a.m. there was an avalanche on Torrey's Peak. One of Colorado's most popular 14ers to hike in all, it swept four hikers into a rock field. Crews with choppers went in to rescue the hikers. All four had minor injuries and were evacuated off the mountain. Monday, we expect to find out the sentence of two snowboarders who caused an avalanche at the Eisenhower Johnson Memorial Tunnels. Tyler DeWitt and Evan Hannibal set off a slide in March last year. The two agreed to plead guilty and prosecutors in return dropped the nearly $170,000 they were seeking in restitution. They are due in a Summit County court at 9 a.m. And another sign the rebound is well underway. Denver Parks and Recreation is restarting many of its programs on Monday. Let's take a look at what you can expect. You'll see weight rooms and cardio studios reopening at many rec centers and eight outdoor pools will reopen tomorrow for lap swim, aqua aerobics and swim lessons. You'll also see sign up return for sports like volleyball at Wash Park as well as tennis programs. With two 90 degree days under our belt, we have a few more to come. 90 degrees for our Monday afternoon, 93 on Tuesday and low 90s Wednesday and Thursday. Dry weather sinking in as well. So we'll have lots of sunshine. We'll have those temperatures staying in the 90s until about Friday. We have a few scattered thunderstorms showing up. Highs dropping into the upper 80s, but we're back in the 80s and 90s as we come upon next weekend. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thanks for joining us. Check back here later for another update and download the Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Gary Broad.